Secretary Steve Mnuchin and U.S. Trade Representative Lighthizer traveling to Shanghai, China, to resume trade negotiations this week. Want to get over to Kayla Tausch, who joins us with more of the details of where these talks are headed. Good morning. Good morning, Andrew. A month after the two sides reached a truce at the G20, the Treasury Secretary and the Trade Representative will sit down with Chinese counterparts to reach agreement on some short-term deliverables that are expected to clear the way to revisit the text of any underlying agreement. The U.S. has been discussing how to carve out business for China's Huawei to conduct outside the scope of national security, while China in return has been expected to buy U.S. farm products. Chinese state media are suggesting some of those purchases started ramping up July 19th, but that it's only temporary. The hawkish Global Times writes China again restarted purchases and might exempt the tariffs imposed on these products, a clear sign of China's goodwill, and such goodwill is expected to produce good outcomes. But if the trade row continues, U.S. farmers will have to face the dilemma of relying on the Chinese market or making a structural adjustment, end quote. President Trump on Friday suggested that reaching a broader deal, though, could take much longer. China will probably say, let's wait. It's 14, 15 months till the election. Let's see if one of these people that give the United States away, let's see if one of them could possibly get elected. And I'll tell you what, when I win, like almost immediately, they're all going to sign deals. And that is the same stall tactic China employed ahead of the 2018 midterms. You may recall a truce came just weeks later.